What's going on guys, it's DRC. Today we're gonna go over how to key or pitch match a song um, into GarageBand or any other um, program similar to this. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I'm gonna show you two different ways to do it. So first, I'm gonna get a song that either I'm gonna sample in here. I'm gonna do one of my own personal songs cause copyright. So here's my own personal song I made. I'm just gonna let it play for a sec. And let's see. So I'm gonna pause around there. So what you could do to figure out the key of a song, you loop it, just a little bit of it. So you could mess around with the keyboard on your on GarageBand. So I'm gonna click on create a new track, click on software instrument, create that track. Press Command K, and then your keyboard will pop up. So let's see, I'm gonna play the song. I'll let it loop over a couple times, it's not a perfect loop. I'm gonna play a couple of times, and I'm gonna try and match by playing each individual note until it, comp until it sounds like it's about right. Sounds like it fits. So I know that because I play piano. That is an A flat. And if you listen to it, it's in a major key, which means you have a major third within the chord. So this song, since I made it, I know it's in. I know it is an A flat major. So what you do from here. You go to your keys up at the top here, click A flat major. Boom. Your song and GarageBand are matched together. So it's key match or pitch match together. Um, that means if you were to go to any of the loops in GarageBand, such as a lovely 70s electric piano, it's in minor. You see, it has a little M next to it. It technically can go play along right with it. So if I sampled this, if I sampled this song, it would line up perfectly with that. All these loops now are in the same key as the song I have up here. So that is one way to do it. If you are musically inclined in that you know music theory and the keyboard, you, this should be easy for you. And say you're not, that's okay too. I'm gonna go on to Google. Um, I have this website, which is, um, I just recently found, it's called tunebat.com. It lets you analyze different songs um, to figure out what the keys are. It also has a vocal remover. Um, pretty cool website, or it's really quick and easy. Um, say you're lazy, you just want to find out real quick without sitting with the keyboard, that's fine too. So I'm going to go, here's my song that I just uploaded into GarageBand. I'm going to upload it on here, and it's going to do everything for you. So, I got the same key, A flat. I don't know what that means. It's about 86 beats per minute. So, I'm going to go into GarageBand. Let's change this to 86. That helps me out with sampling, too. Let's see. Yep. It has all the beats lined up together. And now I should have a four-bar sample. You can see the beats are on time. So, really simple and easy to use. Um, this, now I could grab any one of these loops that are in here. That's horrible. Um, sure, let's add that in. It matches, it's not a perfect match, but I'm just just for demonstrations. Let's see if I can find that sign of weird synth. Sure. Definitely not. You get the idea though. You could use any loop with the song once it's key matched. That's gonna be all for this video. I hope this was helpful with key matching. If you have questions of how to do this, 
please let me know and I will gladly answer you in the comments. Thank you so much and happy music making.